This is a guide to operating and using a Dometic PW1000 canopy as fitted to a Marquis Majestic 196. Note that the motorhome is a 2019 model year. There may be variations in the construction of the canopy depending on the year of manufacture of the canopy by Dometic. This is not intended to replace the manufacturer's instructions, rather I have filmed this to augment what I have read in the instructions and picked up from people's hints and tips online. In addition to the canopy as bolted to the side of your motorhome, you will also need the winding handle as shown at the top of this picture and the tension pole as shown in the middle. I've also included instructions for the Dometic tie down kit which is available to purchase online and in my view is a very worthwhile accessory to purchase. We begin by inserting the crank handle into the hole at the end of the awning and rotating it 90 degrees so that it can't fall out. Extend the canopy by approximately a metre and a half away from the side of the motorhome by rotating the crank handle in a clockwise direction. You will feel a degree of resistance to this as you are operating a fairly sturdy mechanism. You will see from the video that I was operating this on my own and in reasonably gusty conditions. A metre and a half is about the limit that you should extend the canopy without the assistance of the support legs. The canopy legs are stowed within the fascia channel of the canopy. They are spring loaded and when correctly stowed, the spring action prevents the legs from falling out of their own accord. Each leg is retained towards the centre of the fascia on a peg as shown on the attached still image. The legs have a corresponding groove which the peg fits into. Working at the centre of the fascia to release the right leg, push the leg towards the right end of the fascia whilst holding the leg to prevent it falling out in an uncontrolled manner and potentially damaging the side of your motor. The leg can now be extended by sliding up the collar as shown in the attached picture and moving the locking lever down to release the mechanism. The leg will fall under its own weight and once extended to the required length can be locked in place by moving the locking lever down towards the foot and dropping the collar down. Repeat this process for the left hand leg of the canopy. If you position the legs as shown in the video, they will take the weight of the canopy as it is extended. You may have to repeat this process a couple of times as you walk the canopy out. Wind the canopy out as far as it will go.
the canopy arms do not extend to a fully straight position remaining slightly bent. When winding the canopy out ensure that it is loose thus enabling you to insert the tension rafter. The tension rafter consists of two pieces. The first piece is a two piece pole with a spring in the centre which extends to form one pole. The other piece has a plastic clip on the end which sits in the canopy rail on the side of your motorhome. Slide the longer of the two tension rafter poles into the shorter pole until it touches the spring. You should now be able to compress the tension pole. Fit the tension pole in place starting with the plastic shoe fitted into the rail on the side of the motorhome. You can now compress the tension rafter and pulling down slightly on the fascia of the canopy you can fit the other end into the shoe on the fascia. Once the tension rafter is in position the canopy can be rolled back in to tighten the tension on the canopy fabric. The tie down kit is an optional extra available separately from the likes of Amazon etc for around about 20 to 25 pounds. The tie down kit fastens the canopy more securely in the event of stronger than normal winds. First step when guying down the canopy is to fix tent pegs into soft ground immediately adjacent to the canopy. The springs in the tie down kit fit onto the tent pegs and the shorter leg of the C-shaped channel fits into the channel on the fascia of the canopy. The webbing strap of the tie down kit is then fitted between the spring on the ground and the channel fitted into the canopy fascia. When the webbing strap is in place it can be tightened securing the canopy in the event of winds from blowing around. There are two straps in the tie down kit allowing you to secure both ends of the canopy. This should give you additional peace of mind in the event of a blustery day. Stowing the canopy is a reversal of the setting up process However, don't forget to remove the tension pole before commencing this. <laughs>